Alrighty, welcome to Brainstorm 9. My name is Solomon. I'm Old Tones. And we got a newcomer, QT Booty, here versus Swan. Uh, so it looks like, ooh, Terry versus K. Rule. Uh, yet another classic Nintendo matchup here. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have recently been playing against this Terry. There, his super is very good, <laughs> it turns out. <laughs> So hopefully we get to see some of that. Yeah, this is, uh, I've never seen Terry play yet, like, in an actual tournament set, other than, like, online. So this will be the first time kind of seeing a little bit more of his bread and butters and stuff like that. Grasping at him. The real hard thing to get used to is when he, he uh, jumps in and stuff, he just cancels it. So mm -hmm. you think that you can grab him or do something out of shield, then you can't. Because <laughs> it's a frame trap. Let's go. Give him a whack. Give him a grab. Yep. It's like that forward throw is very weak, so I wonder if there's any follow-up to it or if it's mostly just like a position with damage. Oh, scooping him up with that forward smash at one fight. Dirty, dirty forward smash. Okay. Uh, and Swan is looking a little like maybe he's trying to figure out what's going on, as many of us will be with Terry for the next several weeks, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm wondering if he's, uh, I wonder if he actually chose Gabriel for a real grand. I know that uh, Swan was saying before the start of the tournament he was going to go random because right now he's trying to figure out who his main should be at the infamous uh, main dilemma. Ah, yep. classic. Yep. Character crisis. Yo, I'm having one of those. Oh, oh. He rolls into the forward smash. He said, you know what? You can punch real hard, but so can I with this boxing glove. God damn right. And we got uh, forward air into the forward smash here. Um, all right. All right. Slaps him. Gives him a fat slap. <laughs> all right. Terry's smacking him. Giving him another smack. Takes him off the stage. He's about to get that go power. He's ready to go. Alright, so, throwing him, get him with that crown, the classic K rule. Crowning time. Ooh. Grabs him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, Terry was raised on the streets, I think, with his very, uh, fiery personality and long blonde hair. Uh, don't want to mess with him. He's a extreme fighter with several fire abilities. Wow. Look at him with that uppercut. What a what a nasty boy against a big gross alligator. Uh, the alligator's gross. That's just that's just what it is. Uh, he's got a crown because he's a king, but he is having trouble versus this child of the streets. Uh, ooh, gives him a hope behind him with the grab. Oh gosh, what's gonna happen? We got oh, he's done. All right, finishes him off this side of the stage. All right, very like, close, but very close. The gross alligator oh. comes out on top. The greasy gator coming in hot. That is right. I think it looks cute like that. Yeah, it's a lot cuter, I guess. QT. QT. Ooh, it looks like we got the swap into the the rob. Okay, here we go. Let's see some of that rod play. Mm -hmm. the greasy rod gamer. This is 
I don't know how this matchup goes. I've never seen it. Yeah, I I imagine that it's hev like not heavily, but I'm pretty sure that it's in uh, Joker's favor. Um, a lot of a lot of Joker's options. I think it's really good for juggling Ra because he has an issue of landing. And I think it's neutral if both players play it perfectly. I think Joker has a slight advantage in the uh, in the neutral category, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> If he's able to kind of get some along. Throwing the top at him. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah, someone's a little upsetty. What happens? Uh, give him a little arm whack. Yep. He got our son out, which is no joke. Oh no. Tots. Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> some day one dirty puns. Yep, we on it. Yep, hit him with that laser. Uh, ooh, not quite far enough. Yeah, that's a that's a good option to try to like catch the two frame or at least the frames before he actually latches the ledge. Right. Especially with the uh, tether, it's definitely gonna give it a little bit of advantage for Ra. But Swan holding onto this first stock here, and you know, just holding on to it by just a skin of his teeth. Ooh. Oh, and there. Just as I was talking about a couple seconds ago, that uh, down Put, there. Putting him on blast. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look out for that move. That's gross. That's a, that's some heavy metal. There's Cutie Booty, raised by wolves. Mm -hmm. uh, really making it in the human world, though, despite uh, the obvious disadvantage of uh, being raised by wolves. That's true. That's true. <laughs> now he's, uh, he's acclimating the human life quite well. Yeah. <laughs> Thriving, if you will. Ah. Knows, knows how to play our games. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. Posable thumbs. Yep. He came over to my house earlier today. He brought a rabbit. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. That's oh, a nice uh, <laughs> housewarming yeah. gift or yeah. like a hospitality gift. Yeah. All things considered, pretty even percents here. Um, mm -hmm. And I suppose um, that top is really good for just kind of deterring um, the, the not PK fire, PK fire. Right. Um, yeah. Because I know that top is one of those tools that's really good against uh, low flying projectiles. They just kind of neutralize them. Right. Oh, catches up. Oh, falls got out of it. Yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh. Putting my blast oh. there. And that's going to take it with that up smash. You know, one thing that's kind of interesting whenever you play against the rod and you kind of get at that higher percent, it kind of turns into a 50 50 depending on how fast the very person sure. mashes. So either they get hit with the uh, up smash or they get hit with the up air. Joker, of course, going to probably have some trouble killing unless our son is out. Yeah. He um, is at 150%, but yeah, still, a, still a tough time without that big boy over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, here he comes. All right, well, let's see if he can convert here. Oh, grabs him, toss him in. Oh. He likes to go for the up smash. Just yeah. throws out that gyro. He's the like, pressure's you know on Swan right now. He's mm -hmm. got to take the stock or it's going to get less and less likely that he will uh, win this match. Ooh. Just missing the down air. Getting hit with just the last couple of frames of the uh, up air. Yeah. Cutie Booty really showing his predatory instincts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is... Yeah. Good stuff so far. All right. Just nearly missing it with the uh... picking up that top, giving it a toss yeah. on his way over. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I committed to that down there. He really wanted it. Getting wild. <sighs> All right, and that's gonna scoop up that uh, second stock here. Swan had a very comfortable 151 percent on his last stock. Um, trying to seal the deal on this game here. Let's uh, let's see what, what we have in store. Our sense still out. He's getting that percent back real quick. All it takes is just a good oh, oh and the back air. Fade we'll take that. So that is a one-one match right now. This is uh, this is a close one, ladies and gentlemen. We will see what happens. I. I bet he's going to stay on Rob. Yeah, I, I think it would be ill-advised <laughs> um, to... 
I mean, he does have another character. Game three. I'm with the gangsta lean. Yep. We got Peach? 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 Yeah, I guess uh, let's try out the Peach. Have we ever seen him play Peach? I, I don't think we have. I, I really don't think we have. This uh this may be a poor choice. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's been labbing the Peach. That's true. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. Like I said, I know that Swan is just kind of... Feeling that character crisis in full force, and that back air is gonna scoop early, up and really stop. Early stop. Yikes. Yep. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, this isn't impossible, that's for sure, but it looks like just the way that Swan is playing right now, he's, he's not too confident with himself. Yeah, I'm not sure if he knows this magic that well, I don't know. We'll, yeah. We'll see, maybe, like I said, you never know. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> And he oh my goodness, what a painfully slow down. Oh man, this is, oh. this is beyond the pale. All right, All right, back at it as if we are 0 0, but of course we are not. Let's pretend it's that way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's not say we did. <laughs> uh, we have, of course, a top sitting up there spinning, mm -hmm. much like Peach is spinning right now. Let's go. All right. Good forward air, not quite taking it. Yeah, Rob is uh, thick, but he also takes up a lot of space. So yeah. if uh, if you do certain moves when you're in that blast zone like that, it'll certainly shift the hurt box. I know you as a King DDD player understand I that one I understand well. the big hurty box. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Something, something polygons. Yeah, Rudy T, point and shooty. Mm -hmm. All right. And... Grab some out of the air. Cutie booty, of course. Uh, Earning oh, a lot of extra okay. credit, uh, giving him the down throw. He's and out of up. there. It's not, okay, Ooh, maybe not, not quite. Not. Okay. Swan is looking a little gassed here. I wonder if he's just kind of. I think he was going for the. Uh, as long as I don't get three stocks, kind of run. Yeah. And this is it. And he's going to milk it for everything that's <laughs> worth right now. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations, Cutie Booty, for moving on to the next round. Swan uh, getting, I think, knocked out of the tournament here, yes? Yep, getting knocked out of the tournament. Uh, this is Brainstorm 9. My name is Solomon. And I'm all tones. And we'll see you next round, gamers.